Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss the electrophilic substitution reaction of aniline. As we have already learned the resonance hybrid structures for aniline, that when we compare the five resonating structures of aniline, that is the five structures which is shown here. Where do you find the maximum electron density in this structure? When you look at this structure here, the electron density is maximum at the ortho position. In this structure, it is maximum at the para position and here it is also at ortho position because the negative charges you can find in this structure, these are on the ortho and para position. So, the greater is the electron density at ortho and para position to NH2 group, because of this we can say that the NH2 group act as a ortho para directing group because the more electron density is at ortho and para position therefore the substitution is taking place at ortho and para position that is the electrophilic substitution takes place at ortho and para position that's why we will be getting the product that is ortho and para product. So, let us discuss uh, some of uh, the electrophilic substitution reaction for aniline. First one that is bromination. Aniline react with bromine water at room temperature to give white precipitate of 246 tribromoaniline. The product formed here is the 246 try bromo aniline because the br is on the second fourth and sixth position of nh2 group therefore it is called as 246 try bromo aniline so the product formed here is giving a white precipitate of this compound the problem is here that is during the electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic amine that is of very high reactivity because of the powerful activating group that is NH2. It is a powerful activating group that is an ortho para directing group as well as a powerful activating group. Because of this high reactivity, the substitution taking place both at ortho and para position together. So, we will be getting the product in which there is a substitution at ortho and para position together. That means, it is not giving mono substituted product. This is not mono substituted because here three substitution of Br is taking place. Therefore, in order to control this, that means if we want to prepare mono substituted aniline derivative, how we can do this one? That is by controlling the activity activating effect of NH2 group. When we control the activating effect of NH2 group we can get a mono substituted product. Mono substituted means in which the substitution the single substitution is taking place. As here we can see that the three substitution is taking place. So in order to prepare a mono substituted product we have to control the activating effect of amine group that is NH2 group. This can be done by protecting the NH2 group by the acetylation with the acetic anhydride. So that is shown in this equation here. That is when we protect this NH2 group by the acetylation with the acetic anhydride. So what we are getting the product here that is N-phenylethanamide that is commonly called as acetanolide. And further afterwards we will be doing the bromination as you can see in the second step. First we are controlling this group by the acetylation with the acetic anhydride. So we are getting the product acetanolide. Then only we are doing the bromination. Now we are getting a mono substituted product. And later on we are doing the hydrolysis so we get uh, the NH2 back here. So this is called as a mono substituted product. This is not called as mono substituted because here three BRs are get substituted. Here only one BR is there 
that is at the para position to the NH2 group that is called as mono substituted product of aniline aniline derivative so this is done by controlling the activating effect of NH2 group by acetylation and then we are doing the bromination to get a mono substituted product in the case of nitration also the same thing happens here the direct nitration of aniline yields a terry oxidation product in addition to the nitro derivatives when you find here in this we are getting the products like 51 percentage of para product 47 percentage of meta product and the two percentage of ortho products are formed so Moreover, in the strongly acidic medium, the aniline is protonated to form anilinium ion, which is actually is a meta directing. This is why the besides the ortho and para product, we are getting a significant meta products also. That is due to the strongly acidic medium. In the strong acidic medium, aniline, aniline in which the NH2 group is protonated to form anilinium ion and because of this only we are getting a significant amount of meta derivative which is formed here so in this case we are getting the three product that is a para product meta product and also the we are getting the ortho product so for by protecting the nh2 group by the acetylation reaction with the acetic anhydride we can control the activating effect of the NH2 group so in this what we are doing here controlling the NH2 group by acetylation of with the acetic anhydride so we are getting this product that is acetanolide the same product which we are getting in the case of a Bromination also we are controlling the activating effect of NH2 by acetylation. Here also we are controlling the activity of NH2 group by acetylation. So we are getting a product that is acetanolide. Then further we are doing the nitration that is HN reaction with HNO3 in the presence of H2SO4. Now we are getting the para product. And after the hydrolysis only, we got this again back to NH2. So why we are doing the acetylation here? So in order to get a single product here, as here we are getting a mixture of uh, derivatives of anine, aniline we are getting here. So this is done, that is uh, by acetylation. We are controlling the activating effect of uh, NH2 group then we are getting a single product here when we talk about the sulfonation in sulfonation the aniline react with a concentrated H2SO4 to form anilinium hydrogen sulfate this is called as anilinium hydrogen sulfate which is on heating with the sulfuric acid at 453 to 473 Kelvin to produce para amino benzene sulfonic acid which is commonly called as that is sulfonylic acid so the sulfonic acid is formed that is first here the with h2so4 it is giving rise to anilinium hydrogen sulfate which is on heating it is giving rise to the product that is called as a sulfonylic acid so here it is a commonly called as sulfonic acid which is a major product here so this is about the sulfonation but uh, the aniline does not undergo Friedel-Crafts reaction that is uh, it does not undergo alkylation and as well as uh, acetylation that is the Friedel-Crafts uh, reactions because due to the salt formation with the aluminium chloride which act as a Lewis acid and that is used in the friedel craft reaction as a catalyst if you are familiar with the friedel craft reaction which we have already learned in the haloalkanes there 
ALCL3 it is taking place in the presence of ALCL3. So here as we know that it is an electron deficient species therefore it acts as a Lewis acid and what about the aniline in alanine aniline NH2 group is there and because of the presence of the lone pair on the nitrogen it act as a Lewis base. So here when there is a fragile craft when we take the fragile craft reaction is carried out for the aniline so here there is a reaction between the Lewis acid and Lewis base so the Lewis acid is AlCl3 and the Lewis base is the aniline that is C6H5NH2 so there is an acid base reaction therefore there is a formation of salt so which salt is formed that is anilinium salt is formed so salt formation is taking place because of this we can say that the friedel craft reaction that is alkylation and acetylation is not undergoes with aniline due to the salt formation so due to this the nitrogen of the aniline acquires a positive charge as we know that the nitrogen acquires a positive charge when there is a formation of anilinium ion so hence act as a strong deactivating group for the further reaction so because of the positive charge on the nitrogen it act as a strong deactivating group because of this the further reaction that is a substitution of the alkyl and the acyl group does not takes place that's why this does not undergo friedel craft reaction and it is one of the most important question reasoning question is usually asked why the aniline does not undergo friedel craft reaction so this is all about this video have a nice day